Hello everybody. Today we're going to see how I draw Avax. Okay, pencils. That's not a pencil. Pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. There's even going to be one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. This shouldn't take too long. It's just a sign, you know. But, uh, you know, we got to get a sketch down, like, like anything else, just like the characters, just like anything we do, it's better to start off with a sketch. I, too, like to just start at one point with the eyes or something cool, you know, and, and go from there. But, like, like I say with the characters, it's better to sketch out what you're doing. That way you don't start up here, and then you're drawn, and all of a sudden you end up down here, right? You can't even see that. So, I like to sketch... Or you know, it helps to practice and build your chops, you know. But I like to sketch and get everything in there, and then we work with the Sharpies. The Sharpies. Okay, so this is going to go pretty quick. And then we can get started. But i got to switch to something else besides just weapons. You know, uh, i, I got to keep everybody's attention here. So... You know, right now I've got small viewership, so I'm just kind of paying attention to who's looking at what. Nobody really watches these. Yeah. I'm still gonna make them, but I gotta switch to something else. I gotta make it exciting, you know? So we'll see where we go, who knows? Yeah. Okay, I think that's good enough for the sketch. I'm gonna erase some of this just because I got a lot of extra lines in here. So I just wanna leave yeah. what I call the confidence lines, the lines that I'm strong and happy with, that I know represent the image and hopefully you can't see through this paper too much now that I see it I can see the yeah. mark lines on the table from the previous drawing so hopefully it's gonna stand out so I say we get going yeah. let's welcome all the people that skip to this section of the of the video the skippers welcome skippers welcome to the sharpie portion of the video I'm gonna be using a sharpie fine point and a sharpie pen mostly the fine point but the, the pen is finer than the fine point and I can use uh, lighter contrasting uh, line widths yeah. much better with stuff like that so i've already sketched the entire thing out and, and erased some of it so it's nice and light so i'm just going to go with with what i got here and i'm just going to get to drawing so i think i'm going to draw this part first just because that's a good place to start then i can build off of that okay yeah. so i think what i'll do is i'll use the smaller sharpie to draw yeah. The, the the bolts, screws, whatever these are. Yeah. We'll just do something like that. And they are uh, what's what's a what's a what's a six sided is it not hexagon, that's five, right? Um pen, pentangalon? I don't know. I can't think right now. But that's okay. I'm not a thinker. I'm a drawer. So that's why it's okay. So yeah. I'm gonna do that and you know what? Let's go ahead and do the top one too. That'll give us again another top edge to work yeah. with so we know where we're going or where to go to so to speak yeah. and that's a bad habit don't leave your pens like that I'm just doing it because I know I'm about to open up another one or I'm gonna get right back to it but it's a bad habit don't do that yeah. as I do it right I'm just pointing out my habits what we need to work on and something like that so, again, that gives us a good start-stop point, so let's just start and stop. I'm going to draw the point of it out like this, and it's got kind of, you know, that jagged uh, cut edge. Something like this. I'm going to bring this one to it, and there we go. So now that gives us our line of where to follow, where to go. So we're just going to pretend we're drawing there, going to go, and then we're going to touch right about there. That looks about right to me. So I'm going to come straight across, bend it in for the edge. And let's go ahead and do this top one too. So again, we know where we're going. So I'm gonna just yeah. pretend I'm drawing, then I'm gonna come down to there. And that's gonna be about, about right. Same yeah. thing, just gonna kinda come up. And this one's a little higher, like an ax. Get it, Av ax. Yeah. And then I'm gonna draw the edge here. Draw a couple little chips. 
some potato chips, just kidding. Just chips in the, in the ax, something like that. And there is a middle edge right there, but I think I wanna do that with color. I'm not gonna worry about that. So that's all for there. Let's draw this edge here where it connects to the stick. Mine's a little curved. Didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. Then I'm gonna extend it out a little like this. Extend that out a little like that. Connect it to the top. And let's do the uh, the rivets, or the, the bolts, I guess. Like this. And so look, they're not perfect. I mean, they're not, it, it's okay if it's not, you know? Don't worry about stuff like that. And here's a tip too. Don't draw them all the same way every single time. There I did. That was a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. But you wanna kinda turn them a little, you know? You wanna make them, uh, you wanna mix it up so it's not the same. And here they're missing, so I'm just gonna draw the circles like that. All right. So, it does have a little bit of wrapping right there, and what I like to do with my wrapping is wrap, wrap, a rapidy, okay, that's a bad joke, I'm gonna stop. But what I like to do is I like to just draw like this, like little, little edges, like where it is wrapped, like that, and I'll show you why in a second. Do the same thing over here, and there's no rhyme or reason, I just kinda do it like that. I'm gonna tie them to the other side, but I, I just did it like this just to, uh, um, get the, the idea going, okay? Yeah. Now, there are two um, um, fasteners here yeah. that I wanna do first, just because I sketched them out, I know where they're gonna be, but I want to make sure I draw them over the um, staff, the stick, the pole, I guess, because yeah, this is made from like a street sign, right? So I'm gonna do the same thing here, kind of wrapped around like this. Yeah. Do another one out like that. And then I can draw the rest of the, the pole. But like I said, I wanted to do it like that just to guide me and to make sure I don't accidentally draw over yeah. it. Okay, oops, that should have come in here a little bit. Didn't follow my own sketch. But I'm gonna work with what I did. And go back up here like this. I'm more of a puller yeah. than a pusher, so I'm gonna do that over on this side. like yeah. that. All right, so here, like I said, my sketch is over here. Now I gotta move it over there, but I'll make it work, that's okay. So what I did here is I just did this just to accent the uh, the wrap around, see? So now it kind of looks like it's wrapped around this material, it's over the pole, you know? And then I use this, this sharper image, sharper image, <laughs> sharper edged uh, Sharpie just to give it a contrast, some thick and thin, something different and fun, okay? So, I'm gonna take my sketch here and I'm just gonna kinda of play around with what I did. And what I'm gonna do again is draw the rivets, bolts, whatever they are. Like that. Do another one over here. And we're looking at more of a side view so that's why i'm drawing a more more 3d like that and again i'm going by my sketch just to oops my picture got lost just to uh um uh, remember what i did something like this okay and i wanted to do that first just to Make sure, like I said, like I did over here, uh, to have that above what I was doing. Okay? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Like that. Okay. That one should have been up a little bit more, but that's okay. That's all right. I'm just going to yeah. do like this for the bolts or for the ends. And again, I wanted to use more of a, uh, a contrast line. So I'm yeah. using uh, the sharper, sharper Sharpie. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna thicken it up just a little bit because they came out a little yeah. too, a little too small. 
and they do have the little rivet ends or you know screw ends is what they are uh, oh and last thing before i finish up again don't leave that line open it's a no-no all right last few things i'm going to do a few little bolts right here and it doesn't have to be perfect or precise there's like that okay so let's take care of the rest with color so that is av axe So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.